morning, High Tides. I hope your week was full of positive thoughts. Recently, we've had a very tumultuous hurricane season with Harvey, Irma, and Maria. We've also had fires, earthquakes, and volcanoes erupt. Could this be something Mother Nature is telling us, or could it be what people call climate change? Climate change is a change in the circulation of weather patterns that goes on for an extended time frame. Climate change may be related to an adjustment in normal climate conditions. Climate change is caused by variables, for example, biotic procedures, varieties in solar radiation received by Earth, plate tectonics, and volcanic emissions. Certain human exercises have been recognized as essential drivers of continuous environmental change, frequently alluded to as global warming. Slight increases in global warming has possibly contributed to the development of Category 5 Irma, Category 4 Jose, and Category 5 Maria. There has been debate on whether global warming will continue to rise up in heat or cool down like it has in the past. There is also debate on whether global warming is caused by man through the emission of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane, or is it naturally occurring? Only time can tell what is truly happening to Earth. Hi Tides, please get involved. The only way to make change is to get involved. Getting involved can help your community and your world. Let's hear about some ways that you can volunteer this week. Also, this week we had some speakers that are part of a great program. We have known about climate change for over 100 years. So preventing climate change is a huge issue. At Sunrise, um, we believe we need two important things to stop climate change. First, we need to build people power. So we need to talk to people in our communities, at our schools, in our churches, about how this issue is affecting our communities. So it's not just someone in Miami is like, uh, well, the carbon in our atmosphere is rising up, like scientists are telling us it's real. Instead, they need to talk to their families about how our communities are going to be destroyed by this crisis, and we need to start voting based on that belief, um, which we're not doing right now. So that leads to the second big thing we need, which is political power. We need to elect a massive um, amount of officials who will enthusiastically support climate action. People don't believe in climate change. They don't know what it is because fossil fuel companies have poured millions of dollars into deceiving the public about what climate change is, why it's happening, what it's doing to our communities, just like tobacco executives did back in the 1960s and 70s. So when our government doesn't believe in climate change, we have to stand up. We have to build people power and we have to build political power to take action on this issue. So Sunrise is a youth movement to stop climate change and create millions of jobs in the process. And there are lots of ways you can get involved. So we have Sunrise leaders like us speaking. Um, we have people on social media, people creating videos, um, organizing events. Whatever best suits you and however much time you have to commit, the Sunrise movement is really excited to have you join us. The youth is the future. And right, the, the next steps that we take as a generation are going to impact every single person that follow us um, because of climate change. We have about a 10 year window to stop this crisis. And if we don't, our lives are at stake, our communities are at stake. Y'all are so powerful um, and we really invite you to come join us. Hold on, cut, cut the music. We need to talk about something that recently surrounded this anthem. That's right, the knee. Really good idea. <gasps> no, 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 not that knee. This knee. So let's get into it. America's recent controversy has brought up questions regarding patriotism and the American way. Around a year ago, Colin Kaepernick kneeled down during the national anthem due to his views on police brutality. Ever since then, a whole new bunch of NFL players have begun kneeling down during the national anthem. This brings up questions on whether or not this is disrespectful to the soldiers who risked or gave their lives for the American flag, as well as whether or not the players should be punished or if their actions are protected by the First Amendment. Even George Clooney added to the discussion by contributing a poem he wrote in which he states, I pray that dissent will always be protected in this great country. I pray for a more perfect union, and when I pray, I kneel. 
Steven Seagal also put in his two cents where he took a more opposing viewpoint to the matter as he says, I believe in free speech. I believe that everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I don't agree that they should hold the United States of America or the world hostage. By taking a venue where people are tuning in to watch a football game and imposing their political views. Some have even demanded for something to be done about the whole situation such as banning the action of kneeling down during the national anthem, with US soccer even going as far as actually going ahead and banning kneeling. High Tides, your vote matters. What do you think? What do you think, High Tides? Do you think we have a right to take a knee? This week we lost a talented musician. He had rhythm and style. Thomas Earl Petty, also known as Tom Petty, was born on October 20th, 1950 in Gainesville, Florida. He was an American musician, singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and record producer. Petty had multiple hit songs that charted the Billboard Hot 100, such as Stop Dragging My Heart Around, Free Falling, and I Won't Back Down. He also had albums that charted the Billboard 200 and one of them reached number one. In 2002, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers were inducted into the Hall of Fame. Sadly, this past October 2nd, Tom Petty died at the age of 66 from a cardiac arrest. He was surrounded by family, his bandmates, and friends. He died knowing that he and his music was well respected and recognized by his peers and his fans. Rest in peace, Tom Petty. Bye, High Tides. My name is Allison. Have a good weekend.